Hello, and welcome to I Got You, your go-to for honest, simple conversations about vision, eye health, and general wellness. I'm your host, Dr. Valerie Drum, optometrist and total eye nerd. No jargon, no hype, just real talk, grounded in care and expertise. Because your eyes matter, and so do you. This is a space where you're going to feel heard, seen, and supported, and you're going to get some information that you can actually use. So don't worry. I got you. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be diving deep into what cataracts are, what causes cataracts, the symptoms you should watch out for, and of course, the treatments that can restore vision and quality of life. So let's clear the fog together. Have you ever looked through a foggy window or a smudged camera lens? Everything looks blurry, colors seem dull, and the world just feels a bit out of focus. For millions of people around the world, that's the daily life of living with cataracts. So what are cataracts, you ask? Well, a cataract is a cloudy or opaque spot in the normally clear lens in the eye. Depending on its size or where it forms, it can really interfere with your normal vision. Now, most people think cataracts is something that only happens to old folks. And while they are much more likely after the age of 55, they can also occur in newborns, young kids, or they can happen after you've had a trauma or injury to the eye or after you've taken certain medications. Usually both eyes are affected, and but sometimes one can be worse than the other. Here's the science in simple terms. The lens of your eye sits just behind the iris. That's the colored part of your eye. Now, normally that lens is clear. It works like a lens of a camera. It focuses a lot on the retina. That's the back part of the eye. And the retina sends the signal back to the brain and the brain tells us what we're looking at. But when the proteins in the lens change and sort of clump together, that lens becomes cloudy. Instead of light passing clearly through it, the light scatters. And that's what causes blurry or distorted vision. So let's talk about the different types of cataracts. The lens is built in layers, kind of like layers of an onion, and cataracts can develop in different layers, and that's how they're classified. A nuclear cataract sits in the center of the nucleus of the lens, and this is that typically age-related cataract. Um, It goes from being clear to being kind of yellow and eventually brown. Sometimes I say it it looks like I'm looking through a, a glass of iced tea when I look through the patient's eyes. A cortical cataract happens in the outer layers, and it looks like spokes or wedges, like spokes on a wheel. And then there's something called a posterior subcapsular cataract that forms typically at the back of the lens. Now, these tend to develop quite fast, and I see them a lot in younger patients. Instead of years, they sometimes get worse or change the vision in a matter of months. Let's talk causes and risk factors for cataracts. So what actually causes cataracts? The number one factor is age, birthdays. Over time, the proteins of the lens simply break down, but there are other things that can cause cataracts as well. And you can see this, diabetes, certain medications like steroids, spending a lot of time or being around a lot of UV radiation from too much or unprotected sun exposure, lifestyle habits like smoking, poor nutrition, and finally, family history plays a role. Cataracts can also be present at birth, and these are called congenital cataracts. And sometimes cataracts happen after an eye injury or a surgery that you've had for another eye condition. Let's talk about some symptoms of cataracts. Cataracts usually develop very slowly. In fact, you don't notice them at first. You might not even know you had them. And then you go for your eye test. They say, oh, by the way, you've got cataracts. But over time, there are some red flags and we see blurry or hazy vision. Colors seem to be faded or yellowish. You might have glare or halo around car lights or street lights at night. You might feel like you need more and more light to read. You may be having to update your glasses a little bit more frequently than you used to. Or you might feel like you just need to clean your glasses a bit more. If any of this sounds familiar, it might be time to get your eyes checked. An optometrist can diagnose cataracts with a comprehensive eye exam. And this usually includes talking about your vision and your health history. We'll be checking your vision, you know, reading the chart. You cover that eye and read the chart in the distance. We'll be seeing how well you can see far away and also how well you see up close. We'll be doing refraction. That's where we check your prescription, better one or better two. We just see if new glasses might help. And then we examine the lens of the eye with our special microscope. Sometimes we may test for glare sensitivity and we might check your color vision. And these are all used to diagnose a cataract. These exams may help not only confirm that you've got a cataract, but also rule out other eye conditions that could affect treatment. Now, here's the big question. How are cataracts treated? 
Well, in the early stages, if the cataract isn't appearing too much, treatment may not be needed right away. Sometimes just a new glasses prescription or having an anti-glare coating or brighter lighting is enough. If a cataract didn't bother you, it's not bothering me. That's what I always tell my patients. But when cataracts start to interfere with your daily activities, like with driving, with reading, doing the things that you enjoy doing, surgery is going to become the best option. Now, remember, cataract surgery is one of the most common and most successful surgeries performed today. Isn't that just done with like a laser? Well, I always, patients always ask me that and I say, honestly, it's not that simple. But to be fully honest, here's what happens. Basically, the old lens has to come out and a new lens has to be put back in its place. Now, that sounds really scary, I know. But honestly, it's over before you even knew it started. And when it comes to cataract surgery, the complication rates are extremely low. And what's the hardest part for most patients who have cataract surgery? It's using the eye drops because people usually aren't used, used to using eye drops. Those replacement interocular lenses can help correct your vision, minimalizing your need for glasses, possibly even after the surgery. These artificial lenses are permanent and they don't require any care and they restore your vision back to clear. The color almost comes back right away after surgery. I wanted to share with you a funny story about um, a patient who had cataract surgery. So he went out to have cataract surgery and when he came back, one of the first things that happened when he came in the room, his wife said to me, I want you to know that you got me in trouble. And I said, why? She said, because after my husband had his cataract surgery, he accused me of buying new sofas. And I said, what do you mean? She said, he said, when he came home, there were brand new sofas in the front room. He said, there were white sofas. And she said, we've always had white sofas. And he said, no, they've always been yellow. Well, that's because he had a cataract. He thought that the sofas were yellow, but they weren't yellow. So anyway, that's, that's sort of thought I'd share that little funny story with you. So it does bring the color back right away after the cataract surgery. Now, a few months or years after your cataract surgery, you may need a laser touch-up to clear up the vision. And this is because the body creates a film on the capsule that was there to hold the natural lens of the eye in place. And it can cloud the vision again. But listen, it's an easy, easy fix. A laser treatment called a YAG laser will clear things straight up for you. Of course, with any surgery, there are always risks with cataract surgery, like infection, bleeding, or a slightly a higher chance of retinal detachment. And that's why it's important to discuss the benefits and risk with your optometrist and ophthalmologist. So how can cataracts be prevented? The short answer is mm, not entirely. Age-related cataracts are considered a natural part of getting older. I always tell patients, if you find the fountain of youth, then maybe you could stop it. But if you find it, let me know because I'd like to have a bit of that fountain of youth. But you can reduce your risk by taking care of your eyes. Wear those sunglasses. Protect your eyes from the UV. Having UV-coated clear lenses on your regular glasses can help as well. Quit smoking and limit your alcohol. Eat your veggies. Carrots are an excellent source of nutrition for the eyes. So see, your parents and grandparents are right about something, right? And get regular eye exams, especially after the age of 40. Now, all these steps, they won't guarantee that you're going to completely avoid cataracts but you can certainly keep your eyes healthier for longer. So to sum it up, cataracts are common, especially as we have birthdays. They develop slowly, they cloud that lens of the eye, and they can start to interfere with our daily vision and daily life. But the good news is that cataract surgery is safe. It's effective and it's life-changing for most people. And if you have cataracts, make sure that you understand if your new glasses are going to help or not. Far too many times I have seen people prescribe glasses after glasses after glasses when all the while they just needed cataract surgery. If you've noticed a change in your vision or if it's been a while since you've had your last eye exam, consider booking a checkup with your optometrist. Taking care of your eyes today can help keep your vision clear tomorrow. Thank you so very much for listening to the I Got You podcast with myself, Dr. Valerie Jerome. Just a little reminder, everything that we chat about here on this podcast is for info and entertainment purposes only. So if something's a little blurry, itchy, or not quite right with your eyes, book in an eye exam with your eye care provider. Take care of yourself and take care of your eyes.